Hello to you all and a very good evening. I bought this uh, Lima 218, the German Baureihe 218, BR 218, and it's by Lima. Um, this is my typical favorite donor locomotive. I've used these uh, Limas for well a lot of different projects. I used them, for instance, to make uh, Rocco uh, shells run, um, shells of the Belgian 59 series. Um, so um, yeah, I like these. They are very easy to maintain. Um, they need <laughs> often maintenance, that's true, but they are very easy to maintain. And they are inexpensive. This one costed me 14 without po postage, 14 euros for a locomotive. Well, let's see what that is. I didn't run it yet, I just unpacked it. Uh, let's see if it runs at all. You won't believe it, but it doesn't run that bad at all. And it is dirty. I did check that already, so I will show you now. It is a bit dirty, isn't it? The wheels are dirty. Um, so I guess after a good clean it will even run better. But it is already running quite, quite well. even in slow modus. Mm, there's some hesitation sometimes, so I guess after a good clean it will be even better. But not bad at all, not even noisy. So let's give it a clean. So I have uh, got it at the workbench then and um, it looks fairly good. But as you can see here, um, there seems to be one traction tire missing and there is some dirt uh, on all most of the wheels. Yeah, um, There's some grease at these but that might be intended to be there. Uh, let's open it up and let's see if we can improve its uh, running behavior. Opening up these lemas is something um, which you uh, is well. It's quite fiddly. Uh, you need to push these uh, little pins, and um, then the upper part comes loose. So um, let's do it. So now it is opened up. Let's take a look at the construction of these uh, locomotives. So there's an um, there's this part which holds the motor and the weight and the second pickup and there's uh, the upper part which um, is just one plastic shell and uh, a transparent part in it, it's usually glued and um, then there's this one that holds the weight in place because the weight is just lying there loose um, yeah there's uh, some smudge here um, quite dirty, so um, it can use a good clean. Let's start. First of all we need to get the motor out, so um, let's put the weight aside. Uh, these two screws hold the motor inside the plastic. Let's see if we can get them out. On camera it's always a bit more difficult than without camera I can see. Um, right, so this comes loose. Uh, important not to lose the screws. And then uh, usually I usually put them in this little container, very handy. Uh, so this one we can put aside, but as you can see it's quite dirty. Um, it could use a clean as well. 
and then here's the motor and already <laughs> you can see my hands are greasy um, so I guess um, a good clean will be necessary right um, first of all to get the motor open you need to lift these up very carefully because there's some springs in it if they get loose yeah they can jump very far if you are not careful so let's put them in the container as well everything is very greasy I must say yeah sometimes people think it's enough to put more and more grease that's uh, okay if it doesn't get hard um, that's a nightmare if it gets hard the brushes are not coming out for some reason let's try again yeah there they are um, I'm not sure if this is in focus on the camera they are dirty as well so we'll have to clean them yeah this one is a little bit better and then let's open up the motor the motor shield is fixed with two screws let's try not to screw it up okay so let's take it off grease everywhere <laughs> and as you can see the tree pole <laughs> there's hair everywhere as well yeah it's very smudgy um, so let's uh, start to clean it up um, to clean it I usually use pure alcohol well 99% alcohol um, and um, ear tips for me these are doing the job and whew, as you can see lots of smash I will do the cleaning now stop the camera for a moment and then we'll come back as you can see this uh, is already a lot better most of the smudge has gone um, but um, in between these three poles there's uh, a bit of smudge still left and uh, it's important to remove it because um, very carefully with a fine screwdriver because it might cause a short circuit between the three poles so um, it's important to get this clean as well but of course very very carefully right sometimes when very dirty and if it's not possible to get it away with alcohol or get most of it away as I did now then you might consider to use a grinder um, or a sanding paper by hand um, if possible very fine one because if you would use a very raw one then um, the surface might uh, be damaged I think in this case somebody has damaged it already at some point because there's some some scratches here which are I think too deep for the brushes to make for the brushes to make them well um, this one is already a bit cleaner then let's take a look to the rest of the motor and um, usually the inside of the magnet is very dirty as well so let's take a look at it some alcohol and an ear tip and um, let's take a look give it a good rub and um, well it's uh, not extremely I've seen more dirty cases more dirty examples but um, yeah it is black <laughs> isn't it so I usually give it a good rub and um, in this case the loco was 
more or less running so I guess the magnet is in good condition um, we can easily test it with something in metal and yeah it is in a good condition isn't it so that's okay that's much cleaner and then um, I usually also do these because sometimes lots of grease is in there and as you can see <laughs> again lots of it right that's totally black okay and then next is the cup wheels as you can see these are terribly dirty there's um, hairs and fluff of a uncertain kind which I don't even want to know what it is um, it needs cleaning to start cleaning we well this one I can take away it already but to start cleaning we need to lift off to lift this one carefully lift it up right um, this one is off um, now the cockwheels are here to take them off um, it's not that difficult then or it shouldn't be that difficult that's the first one second and uh, well these smaller are more difficult you have to push the wheel sets at the other side to get them just a little bit out of space I must say the quality of these wheels is usually very good but you have to be careful anyway let's clean this up all then shall we well the quantity of dirt here is really impressive um, yeah it, it, it really needed a good clean I'm sorry for the unpleasant <laughs> pictures here um, yeah uh, but um, it was really necessary wasn't it so let's uh, clean them all up and then I'll come back to you then next let's um, take a look to the contacts there's uh, some dirt coming off as well to the axles that should give contact to the motor and also here as you can see lots of dirt yeah I, I guess the previous owner used the technique of uh, well I don't like to clean it but let's just put some more grease in it and it will run yeah, that's that's true to a certain extent but at some point the grease really must be removed so let's do the wheels as well and as you can see here's a traction tire missing so I will have to take a look in my spare parts box um, if I can find one it's not only important for the motor itself it will run better definitely without the dirt but it's also important for your other locomotives because the dirt will be left at your track and other locomotives might pick it up so honestly without a good clean no second hand locomotive is uh, oh I will have to fix that again no second hand locomotive is coming on my tracks without a good clean well just for a try just a trial to see if it runs at all but then a clean is really necessary here we will have to remove the traction tire because there's dirt in between so the traction tire is off now and as you can see the traction tire should be transparent well 
usually Lima uses transparent traction tires but um, <laughs> the church was on it as well of course it's um, a bit yellow now but no problem so um, cleaned the cock wheels and um, reassembled and as you can see it's um, clean now very nice mechanism so let's put in the alternator then and then um, close the motor shield and then before uh, putting back the brushes um, we will give these a good clean too so um, usually there's coming <laughs> some dirt from them as well and that's not different in this case almost forgot to clean these and then carefully put the brush in and then with the brushes in let's try to put the springs in and that is quite a fiddling thing to do and um, especially <laughs> you will have to try not to lose them because um, well, they can jump quite far away if um, if you're not lucky right you have to push them in but not too far because if too far then the pressure on the alternator is um, going to going to be too big so it might not uh, turn too well so usually I do them like this I'm not sure if you can see that so just a little bit but not push it to the till the end another thing to watch out for is that the incline here is like that and that is almost flat because if not it will touch when coming into curves it will touch this plastic and it might um, make some noise right that's the motor part done um, let's take a look at the other bogey um, the other one uh, you can lift it out like this but honestly that isn't even necessary usually to clean it so what I do is open it up here and give the inside a good clean so um, and as you can see there's dirt here as well and that's not a good thing because the contact uh, will be less good so let's give it a clean then right that's um, a lot cleaner then um, and then of course it, it might be a silly thing to say but make sure you put the axles back in the same direction you found them so it is an isolated part that doesn't take current and there's a part that is not isolated and um, make sure it's they are in the same direction as you found them and then so let's clean up this bogey so as you can see one of the disadvantages of Lima locomotives and I don't know much disadvantages but well still um, only destruction of only one bogey yeah? there's a motor bogey and there's a bogey without traction this one and um, the second disadvantage is that um, there's pickups on only one side of each bogey so um, there's one side here that's the life part and there's one side um, here yeah so um, there's four pick points but only two at each uh, side of the track so um, yeah it, it might stall at points sometimes especially at very low speed and um, especially if um, those are not very clean 
Go ahead and give this one a wrap as well. Um, yeah, so that's done. Uh, almost. Um, we'll, we'll just have to close it then and um, give it a test run. So I have assembled it um, and as usually to improve the traction and um, well, the, um, the connection of the, this bogey with the track I put extra weight uh, at this side. Um, it really helps. Um, it makes the locomotive also less jump at that part because this part is fairly light and all the weight is here and in the middle so um, it's not enough and that's why I always add some extra weight here um, well before then closing it I will do just a few drops of uh, fluent oil um, to it just a few two drops is usually usually enough right we can close it now and here it is now much cleaner running rather smoothly I would say And for a triple motor, not bad. And it won't leave dirt at my tracks. Okay, that's all for now. See you next time. Bye bye.